It's a disastrous new normal. Catastrophic fires, once contained to one season, now a harrowing year-round battle. We gotta go. A major factor, climate change. In the last 40 years, fall temperatures in California have increased about two degrees, while precipitation has dropped about 30%. Longer dry seasons and extreme events like heat waves that synchronize the risk of fire across enormous landscapes. Climate change is increasing the area burned by the average wildfire, more than doubling it since the 1980s. Since 1930, five of the biggest fires so far out of the top 10 have been this year. California is America fast forward. In other words, a postcard from the future. Oh man, are you serious? California is basically a postcard from the future? That means the future is also on fire? I mean, it also means that the post office is still functioning in the future, so I guess, woo, we did it. And that really is mind blowing. Five of the biggest fires have been this year? That's insane. Although this is 2020, so I'm kind of shocked that all of the biggest fires haven't been from this year. Wildfires might be here to stay, which is awful for humans, but especially bad for trees because they can't move. Humans can just run away from a wildfire, but trees, they're just stuck there. Can you imagine how terrifying that must be for them? Ah! Crews continue battling dozens of raging wildfires in California. Officials say one of the fires, the El Dorado in San Bernardino County, started after pyrotechnics were used at a gender reveal party. Flames have scorched nearly 10,000 acres since Saturday. Fire officials say the blaze was only 7% contained as of late last night. No word if any charges will be filed related to this fire. Okay, people, I've said it before. And I'll say it again, these gender reveals have gone too far. 10,000 acres have burned. And it's not even the first time this kind of thing has happened. I mean, at this point, gender reveal party is now one of the most dangerous terrorist organizations. It's ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Taylor Swift fans, and gender reveal parties. Not in that order, calm down Swifties. But guys, this has to stop, right? Or at least if you insist on a gender reveal, you should do something that helps the situation. The water's pink, it's a girl! And aside from all the damage it can cause, celebrating a baby's genitalia is starting to feel very outdated. Like given everything we're learning about gender, gender reveal parties should only happen when the child is old enough to know their actual gender and to pitch in some cash for the fire damage. Well, some inmate firefighters who are working the front lines on our California wildfires now have a chance to capitalize on that experience after they're released from custody. Governor Gavin Newsom signing into law what will give some inmates a shot at careers in firefighting after completing their sentences. Thousands of prisoners that are on the front lines uh, that are near the end of their time in prison that are getting credits uh, and want the opportunity because the training they're receiving, this bill that I'm about to sign uh, will give those prisoners hope of actually getting a job in the profession that they've been trained. Yeah, for years. Even though prisoners fought wildfires while incarcerated, they weren't allowed to become professional firefighters once they were released. And that was all because of their felony convictions. And honestly, I think this is a great step in the right direction because America keeps telling people to take what they've learned in prison and use it to get back in society. If you learned how to fight fires in prison, you should be allowed to become a firefighter when you come out, right? If you've learned how to cook, you should be able to work in a restaurant when you come out. Even if you've spent all your time in prison just learning how to do more crime, when you get out, you should be allowed to get a job in the Trump campaign. And you know, I'm not surprised that prisoners actually make really good firefighters. Cause they don't mess around, man. On the first day, they walk up to the biggest fire and they put it out and all the smaller fires know that they mean business. That's how it works, right? That's how you fight fires? <laughs> I wish there was someone here.